Cindy, and we're gonna be baking up some cakes with great taste. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I've been making fall cupcakes, so join me as I show you all of my goodies. I'm going to start out with my caramel spice cupcakes. I used one box and one third a cup of mix, the spice cake mix, and one and one third cups of water, three eggs, a third a cup of oil, two teaspoons of caramel flavoring, and two heaping tablespoons of caramel icing. Yes, I'm gonna put it in the cake mix again. It makes them so moist. I generally do not like cupcakes because people overcook them, but these cupcakes were very moist. They came out just absolutely perfect. I'm gonna show you a few different ways to decorate the cupcakes as well. And then we're going to try a new recipe for pumpkin spice cupcakes. The cupcakes are done, now let's start our icing. I am going to be using a two pound bag of powdered sugar, one cup of baker shortening, one half cup of water, one teaspoon of caramel spice flavor, and a half a can of caramel icing. Yum. I am using a tip 1C, and it's really the easiest way to put on icing. You can make it really, really tall. I don't generally put that much icing on. That's a lot of icing. But some people like that, and it always makes them look really nice. So if you want to ice them really, really quick, grab the one C and you just kind of push down and pull up and just keep piling that icing up. Now I'm just going to make a swirl. I'm using the same tip and I am just kind of going around in circles. I start on the outside. I work my way to the middle and then just kind of lift up on it. You can also do a rosette. On this one, I am kind of pushing down in the center and I keep working my way from the center out to the edges. And if you want the icing taller, then you just add a second layer on top. You can add a second layer, third layer, make it as tall as you want. I think the rosette is my favorite as far as the way they look. And it's pretty easy and quick as well. Now that they're all iced, I melted some caramel icing in the microwave and I am going to drizzle it over top of each cupcake. I melted it for about a minute. And make sure when you're done, you clean your bottle immediately. If you don't, you'll have to throw it away because the caramel will get too hard and you won't be able to clean it. So I had this whole container full of caramel spice cupcakes. And they smell divine. Mm, my whole house smells wonderful after making them. Anyhow, I am going to eat one. And I have recently been told that I'm eating them all wrong. Can't understand why. Oh no. It works. It's so hard to eat a cupcake. You always end up with it all over your nose. So, I have read online, I think it's kind of odd, but I have read the proper way to eat cupcake is to pinch the bottom half off and eat it like a sandwich. So, here goes. And no cupcake on the nose. So, maybe that is the right way to eat them. I don't know, but... Mm, I just enjoy the icing so much. It has icing inside and out. Oh, it's so good. I wish I could let you all taste how delicious it really is. So, I decided to do a little more experimenting. I'm going to make pumpkin spice cupcakes. I used one mix and one third a cup of spice mix and three eggs, one and one third cup of water, 
one third cup oil, some pumpkin spice, and let's just say it didn't quite turn out the way I expected. So my caramel spice cupcakes turned out so good and so delicious that I decided to try using the pumpkin. I used the recipe on the box and decided to tweak it just a little bit like I always do, but it turned out tasting divine, but it's not going to work because there's too much liquid to cause the cupcakes to sink in in the middle. As you can see, every one of them are sunk in in the middle. So that is a failure. Do not try using the cake mix recipe and just adding in half a can of pumpkin because it doesn't work. They don't rise. They taste good though. It is not my cupcake. I'll try again. So let's try this again. I'm gonna use one box and one third a cup of spice cake mix, one whole can of pumpkin, and this time I'm only going to use one fourth a cup of water and one third a cup of oil. I hope this changes the texture. And I'm still adding my three large eggs. I'm going to add one teaspoon of baking powder this time to see if maybe it makes it rise a little more and a teaspoon of cinnamon spice. So let's get all these cupcakes into the pan and into the oven. I am so nervous about how they're gonna turn out, but I think this time they are going to be great. Now this is the way they should come out of the oven. They're nice and fluffy. Mmm, and they taste divine even without the icing. That's very good. So now onto the yummy icing. I'm using one box of cream cheese, two pounds of powdered sugar, one fourth a cup of water, one heaping cup of Baker's shortening, one teaspoon of vanilla or cream cheese flavoring. Oh, and I almost forgot, I did add two more cups of powdered sugar. Now let's ice our yummy cupcakes. There are a lot of different ways you can ice in a cupcake depending on how much icing you want on it. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways with a few different tips. On these first cupcakes, I'm using a tip 104 and I'm kind of starting at the middle and doing a zigzag and getting wider as I go to the edge of the cupcake. I think it makes a really attractive cupcake. You want to make sure the wide tip is what's closest to the cupcake. And I think it's actually one of my favorites. Next, I am going to use a star tip, number 32, and I'm just doing little star shapes around the cupcake from the outside to the inside. You just kind of push down and release, push down and release. This one I'm doing a swirl with the same star tip. Just going from the outer edges, working my way into the center of the cupcake. These cupcakes, you can make the icing really low or make it really high just depending on how many times you go around. On this cupcake, I am doing a round tip, number 12. I am actually going from the center and I'm working my way around until I end up on the edge of the cupcake. You can do it either way. You can go from the center to the outside edges or the outside edges to the center. It just depends on you and what you like. The bakeries love to make that icing piled up really high on top because it looks beautiful. But that's a lot of icing to eat. So I generally do a moderate amount of icing. But for myself, I don't even do as much as you see here. Now I'm just going to put some sprinkles on those cupcakes to make them look nice and fall. 
Got some fall leaves, some fall sprinkles, just, what else do I have? Little fall pumpkins. They all make them look really cute for this time of year. Uh, I think I have two sections that were the same, so I pulled those out and I'm kind of moving them around. I kind of like things to be evened out looking on my tray, so I just kind of move them a little bit to get them where I want them. And I really didn't want two sections exactly the same. On this last section, I am using a leaf tip, a 352, and I'm just kind of putting little leaves all around the top of the cupcake. That actually takes a lot of time, so I'm not real sure that's something I would want to do. So I did a couple of those, and now I'm just doing another one with a round tip and just swirling it on top. And finishing decorating those up. My cupcakes are ready for a fall celebration. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and turn on those notifications. Please, please, please.